Hey everyone, so I did this look today inspired by the Wonder Woman collection. If you check out the looks from the collection, then you'll see one that looks like this. Very intense fuchsia on the eyelid and the marine ultra on your bottom line. So I worked with what I had. The looks were to use with the Defiance palette, that quad, but when I saw it I didn't really think it was too pigmented and I swatched it on my skin and it wasn't really showing up too good. I think I've seen it in other people's videos wearing it and it looks very nice on them, but what I really used is my my palette, which I'll show later on in the video, but I created a, a light pink base first before I applied the bright fuchsia pigment on top and then in the crease I used pigments that were similar to the the real drama and the star studded so you know the eyes and the lips okay so stay tuned to see how I did this look okay so we're gonna start out by priming our lid Then I'm going to take my 120 palette and grab the shimmery white right there and the lightest pink on the palette so it's going to be this one and a little dark lighter one. And we're going to apply that all over our lid. I'm trying to get it as baby pink as possible. Take your 224 brush and just blend everything out. Take some more of the the pink color, the lightest pink, these two, and take it out a bit down your lash line. You want it to be as pink as light pink as possible so it's not too much or too harsh it shouldn't be really fuchsia looking just baby pink these are the colors I have so I'm just working with them so after that I'm going to grab my bright fuchsia pigment I transferred I transferred it into a small little jar and since we've created our base I'm going to take a little Fix Plus, just a little bit, not too much because it's more of a, nearly a matte shade. So just apply that in your inner corner. Towards the middle half of your lid. And again, just blend. So your inner corner to the middle part of your lid should look more intense. I'm going to take revved up pigment. It looks like that. And I'm going to apply a little Fix Plus on my hand. Oh, here's a swatch of the revved up pigment. And we're going to apply that on our crease. Grab chocolate brown pigment. It looks like this. And it's right here in my hand. I have other swatches, but that's revved up pigment. And this is chocolate brown pigment. So I'm taking chocolate brown pigment and I'm applying that on my outer V my outer corner just blend and some more for more definition and just blend Take your white 
shimmery color and use that as your highlight. Okay, great. So the next thing we're going to do is apply liner. And you don't have to wing out your liner or anything. Okay, and then line your waterline as well with a black liner. Okay, and then we're going to apply more Fix Plus, just a little teeny bit, on the back of our hands. And we're going to grab a liner brush, and I'm going to be using Marine Ultra Pigment. Again, I transferred it into a smaller jar, so I could work with it better. And then apply that underneath your lash line. And the Fix Plus is just going to help keep the pigment together. And this is a matte shade. Keep applying till you feel the intensity of the blue underneath your waterline. Okay, curl your lashes if you need to. And apply mascara. And lashes are definitely optional would be really nice with this look. And then I'm just taking another mascara and applying that to the bottom lash. Or it's better use, less flaking than mascara was using. Okay, that is our eye look. Okay, and as for blush, I'm going to use my Mineralize Skin Finish. And I'm just going to take the blush side, which is an orangey color. I'm just going to apply that on my cheeks, kind of as a contour. I'm just going to use the blush. Still a little bit orange-based. I just want to take some of my other blush. This is American Beauty that I'm using. Sunlit Posy. And I'm just going to add just a little bit of pink on our cheeks. For lips, I'm going to use Athena's Kiss. Thing feels pretty huge applying this big Wonder Woman lip gloss on your lips. I really like the lip gloss, it's really nice. It felt a little weird putting it on with that big dual foot applicator, but it's a really nice color. Oh, and don't forget to apply a little bit of concealer to light, brighten up your look. It doesn't look so dark around the eye area. And this look was pretty intimidating to me. I wasn't sure if I wanted to do it. I think it's pretty bold, but when d doing it lightly, like when you apply the, the, it's supposed to be Paradise Island, but I applied like a really light pink around almost towards your lower lashes. So you have some pink like around here, like around the rim of your eye. So as long as you apply that really lightly and it doesn't interfere with the fuchsia color, you should be okay. It shouldn't be, you know, too much. This is probably more of a, a nighttime look, perhaps. Alright, thanks for watching.